When planning the layout of the sheet, ensure joints do not fall too close to corners. A width over 300 mm will avoid the risk of misalignment when the next sheet is fitted. Once you have determined where the joint will fall, mark the line vertically on the wall. Then prime the substrate where the line is located and allow to tack dry. Take a roll of double-sided tape and apply this centrally to the line. Leave the protective cover in place until later. Prepare the sheet accordingly, making sure the edges are clean and free of burrs. Then apply the adhesive to the back of the sheet with a notched trowel. The adhesive should finish 25 mm from the edges. Offer the sheet to the wall, ensuring the datum lines match up, and then push the sheet firmly to the substrate. Use a hand roller during this process, but don't roll to the edge of the sheet. Run a knife down the edge of the sheet to cut through half the protective cover on the double-sided tape. Ease up the edge of the sheet and pull out that part of the protected cover. Press the sheet back to the tape and complete the hand rolling. Ensure the edges are free from excess adhesive. Before setting up the joint, take the next sheet and dry fit this to the previous sheet to ensure the edges butt together. Next, secure a row of spacer pins evenly against the edge that forms the part of the joint. Prepare the next sheet exactly as before and then offer this up to the wall, making sure that it butts tight to the spacer pins. Apply even pressure to ensure the adhesive is fully transferred to the substrate but don't roll completely to the edge of the sheet. Remove the protective cover from the double-sided tape on both sides and then complete the hand rolling sequence. Once the installation is complete, you are ready to start welding. It's always good practice to carry out a test weld on a spare piece of sheet to make sure your temperature setting is suitable for the product and conditions. Use color coordinating weld rods to form the joints, taking care not to burn or scratch the sheet during this process. Feed the weld rod into the gun and move your hand steadily at a consistent pace down the join. When pre-cutting and carrying out the final cutting of the weld rod flush to the surface of the ultra white rock sheet, spray the join with anti-static solution first to reduce the risk of scratching the sheet. Cut away the excess weld rod using a cutting tool fitted with a guide. This will leave the welding slightly proud of the surrounding area. Therefore, a second trim is required using the blade only. After the joints have been hot welded, apply silicone sealant as required to all abutments and exposed edges. Remove film and clean the sheets.